IFMIS is an integrated financial management system. IFMIS is actually the name, the acronym for all systems that are used for automating the PFM across all the government entities. IFMIS, we are using it starting from the planning. Let it be planning, budgeting, reporting and auditing. I can't fear telling you that it was a bit catastrophic Thank you. before IFMIS. Mm -hmm. Everything was manual. Mm -hmm. We had so many cases of bribery, mm -hmm. government funds mis me being misused. Mm -hmm. There were so many issues, but again, related to costs that were being incurred, mm -hmm. it was too much. Regarding the transparency, you understand if you need a payment. Before COVID actually, even if we had the system, but somebody from the district had to bring your hard copies here. Invoice. Invoice. Mm -hmm. But with the support we received to automate the digital mm -hmm. uh, payment, you don't have to come here to Minecofin so that the treasurer can pay you. In the district, just create a payment. Concerning the e-procurement, that one is really an amazing uh, platform. You see, in Rwanda, in the private sector, our major client is the government. Because the private sector is really growing. Uh, at least in the ICT industry. Having all the procurement plans online helps us now plan accordingly because we know what will be uh, purchased in this fiscal year. And on top of that, uh, we are no longer now purchasing a tender document of which we are not going to participate because you browse the tender document online then you check whether you meet the requirements or whether even that's a tender you should go in. The main purpose of automation is to remove manual work, minimize use human input in processes. And the moment you are minimizing human input during automation, you are improving efficiency, improve transparency, and of course, reduce corruption. It's really of a great uh, help that we got those uh, two systems running uh, as a business, as a, in the private sector, because formerly we used to have uh, a lot of uh, delays in uh, filing um, the taxes, but also queues in the banks. But currently, the system is really well integrated and we have so many benefits. The SDMS is about schools data management system. Why the Minister of Finance came even in support of education? Of course, a huge part of the government budget goes for education support. SDMS buri yagiye ho kugira ngo ikemure ibibazo byariho cyane cyane bigendanye namakuru abakenewe the ministry of finance Yes DMS yadufashije gukemura ikibazo twari dufite kuko abana baraza kugasa ngo ufite abana benshi kujya kubandika mu ikahi imyirondoro one the Kizina Joma and I, Javuchi, Gitsina Che, Isse, Nina, Nivindi Bishina Hatuye, Javagavi to go. Jumvi Kanekonium and Avagamo, Ya Pajo, Ama, the Timoni Vari Hagati, Majaga Gusiva, Conjur Chango Sukas on your Kanduko. Growing a 
mbere twatangiye dukoresha impapuro impapuro bya ri process ndende nakirwa nsubiramo harimo go printing harimo gushaka makamya ajyana ibintu ku ishuri harimo kuza kubifata iyo process tuyivaho Yo rero gahinjye twamaraga muri data cleaning cyabaga ari giye kinini cyane kuko byasabaga gufungura sheet kuri sheet uyu munsi wa none mu Rwanda dufite amashuri arenga 1500 ibaze rero 1500 none yo shuri ryari rifite nk'ibyiciro bine ukabura ibufungure sheet enye kuri buri shuri wasanga ufite sheet zijya kurenga 2020 ugomba kunyuramo ubu rero byaroroshye kuko STMS ni web based application nubu ngo umuntu iri kwishuri yo yinjizemo amakuru uhituyabona akimara kuyinjizamo uko umuntu uri ku rwego rw'igihugu cyangwa hano kuri Minedica yabona niko ku murenge abibona niko kuri ku karere abibona byaroroshye rero haba muri process yo gukusanya makuru haba muri process yo gukora analyze haba no muri process yo kutanga makuru kubayakeneye